Hi, and welcome to this explanation of this steel I-beam problem. Um, so in this problem, we have a steel I-beam in the drawing that has a weight of 7.3 kilonewtons, and this can be different for you guys, for the numbers, the, the numbers, and this, and this is being lifted at a constant velocity. Um, what is the tension in each cable attached to its end? So it's talking about these two cables over here. And it's talking about a constant velocity, which means acceleration is zero going upwards or going downwards. Except there's a force, which is force of gravity, which is 9.8 meters per second squared. So, um, okay. All right. So let's let's look at let's look at. Um, let's let's draw a free body diagram and see what what we get. So we have a our downward force of mg, and we have our we have our vectors going this way and going this way. So if we break down those vectors, we would get a free body diagram, uh, slightly oblong free body diagram of mg go, going down at mg. This would go up like that. And the two would go up, and the two would go inwards like this. Okay. And and the degree over here is 70, which means both of these are 70, which means the tension on both of these thingies is equal to t. Is equal to t. Okay. So since um since the acceleration of this is zero. Uh, which means it's not accelerating or, or decreasing, or it doesn't have an external force except for gravity, um, which means its net force is zero. So what that means is that the the force going downwards, which is equal to 7.3 kilonewtons, which if you convert it to newton newtons, it would just be 3,700 newtons. That would equal to. Well, where did this come from? It's just 70, 7300 newtons. Yeah. So that would equal to um, the upward, the upward um, force, which is these two exerted from the cable. Now, how do we calculate the, this this thing? Um, well, let's see. Well, we have two, so let's write down two because we have two. Now we know that it's 70 degrees from here to here. So and and in order to calculate the y uh, component, we just do sine of that. So sine of uh, 70 is equal to well, since since uh, it's stationary and I mean it's moving at a constant velocity, which means the acceleration is zero. So it, it must equal to this. So so this would be 7,300 newtons. Right? And what variable have we have we forgotten? Well, we have forgotten we have forgotten we have forgotten the tension the tension tension so the tension so this is two times sine. Okay. So let's let's get tension by itself. So, so if we divide each side by sine of 70 and 2, um, we get we get 73, uh, 7, 70, 70, 70, there we go, 7300 divided by 2. I'm going to divide by 2 first, and then and then I'm going to divide by sine of 70. So sine of 70. Uh, let's make sure that I'm in degree mode. So okay, I'm in degree mode. So T is equal to 3884 newtons. And that's your answer. Except it will be different for you because I used uh, 7.3 and you didn't. So if you got a if you follow the steps exactly and you got a wrong answer, then you must have um, plugged in something different in the middle so just check that because I just did it and got it right so um, well good luck on the test